Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of mathematical economics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I will briefly uh, explain the idea of mathematical economics. So basically, I'm going to introduce the subject of mathematical economics to you, in which I'm going to discuss the meaning of mathematical economics, the difference between mathematical economics and non-mathematical economics, and also the difference between econometrics and mathematical economics. You can find videos on economics, econometrics, SPSS, R Studio, statistics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the introduction. So mathematical economics refers to an economic model that uses the principles and methods of mathematics to create economic theories and to analyze economic dilemmas. So through the Inclusion of mathematics, theoretical economic models have become useful instruments for day-to-day -day economic policy making. So we have a well-established economic theories. We have law of supply, law of demand, or the relationship between consumption, expenditure, and income, or saving behavior, investment behavior, the relationship between rate of interest and investment. So we use mathematics. We use mathematical equations or mathematical symbols to analyze these well-established economic theories. And that will help us uh, in a day-to-day -day policy making. So mathematical economics is based defined as a subfield of economics that examines the mathematical aspects of economic theories. So Chiang rightly uh, said that mathematical economics is not a distinct branch. We do not have a separate branch of mathematical economics uh, in the sense that public economics or international trade. Rather, it is an approach to economic analysis. So we use mathematical approach to analyze economic theories. And that is the idea of mathematical economics. Now let's understand the difference between non-mathematical economics and mathematical economics. So in non-mathematical economics, we write theories in sentences. For example, law of demand. So we know that as, uh, if, if all other things are constant, we have inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. So in mathematical economics, we use symbols and equations to explain or to analyze the idea of theory of demand. So here we know that demand is a function of price and therefore demand equation is D is equal to A minus B into P. So this equation explains the demand theory. Minus sign explains that we have inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. So this is the difference between non-mathematical economics and mathematical economics. So mathematical economics is just an approach to analyze the economic theories. Let's take another example, law of supply. So assuming other things constant, we have positive relationship between price and quantity supplied. So again, we use symbols and equations to explain this theory. So we have a supply equation. So S is equal to C plus D into P. Now this positive sign plus sign shows the positive relationship between price and quantity supplied. Now what is the difference between econometrics and mathematical economics? Econometrics is all about measurement of economic data. So we do empirical analysis with the help of appropriate statistical tools. So econometrics involves statistical methods. And therefore, we have hypothesis testing or estimation of parameters. Let's, let's take this example again, law of supply. So how mathematical economics and econometrics are different from each other. So in econometrics, we actually collect the data of price and quantity supplied. And then we do the empirical analysis using appropriate statistical tools. And therefore, it involves sampling, distribution, hypothesis testing. So this is the basic difference between econometrics and mathematical economics. So uh, 
uh, today I have going. I have discussed the idea of uh, mathematical economics, difference between mathematical economics and non-mathematical economics, and also the difference between econometrics and mathematical economics. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.